Hi everyone, so good to see you. Welcome to Crime 2 News at Noon. I'm Laura Papetti. All right, and we begin with this happening today. The man accused of shooting and killing two people near the Gorge Amphitheater is back in front of a Grant County judge. 26-year-old James Kelly is charged with two counts of first-degree murder, two counts of first-degree assault, and one count of first-degree assault domestic violence. He pleaded not guilty, and he will appear in court again later this month, coming up on July 25th. And right now, his trial is scheduled for August 23rd. Also developing now, a driver is in custody after a rollover crash on the Sprague I-90 off-ramp. The passenger of the car had no obvious injuries. She was brought to a hospital just as a precaution. Washington State Patrol telling us they arrested the driver for suspected of driving under the influence. The crash scene is now cleared. Today, troopers continue to investigate, though, what actually happened. Also, a brush fire continues to threaten more than 200 homes. This is near Shelton in western Washington. Level 3 go now evacuations are in place. According to the Washington Department of Resources, the fire is mapped at about 257 acres, but is entirely, entirely lined by heavy equipment. However, right now, Central Mason Fire and EMS says it is considered 0% contained. According to local fire officials, new evacuation levels will be released at any moment. Also happening in California, wildfire crews are adding a new resource to their tool belt, artificial intelligence, AI. The AI can detect smoke plumes humans don't spot on their own. Steve Large from our CBS affiliate station in Sacramento has more. Raw AI is now one of the features these monitors show inside this CAL FIRE Emergency Command Center. These cameras are all auto-generated and have all moved based off of AI indicators. Chris Africa is a captain here where artificial intelligence is now helping ID wildfires without the help of any human eyes. This allows a computer to basically do your work for you. Absolutely. So a red box now appears on dispatch monitors where wildfire cameras can now detect smoke on their own. Africa refers to the AI wildfire alerts as signatures. Yeah, so right now if we clicked raw AI, that will show any cameras that are currently picking up signatures. It's picking up something that the cameras think is either smoke um, or something that is an anomaly to the camera system. Active firefighting going on. Computers are also helping generate immediate predictions on where wildfires are heading using new technology that inputs topography and wind speeds. To know that this is exactly where the fire is right now and this is the direction that's going is extremely valuable information. I mean, it's, it's truly a game changer. Last year, for the first time, CAL FIRE also used drones like this one that can drop these pellets used to set backfires in places too dangerous to send fire crews. This new era in fighting wildfire. In your career, did you ever see this day coming? No, absolutely not. This is something that's new and the technology is out there and we're jumping on board and using it and it is fascinating. Artificial intelligence to help fight infernos. All right, fascinating information there. Also, we do want to give you a reminder that burn, bland, burn bans are in place all across most of eastern Washington right now. So that does include Spokane, Stevens, Okanagan, Whitman, and Lincoln counties. Most outdoor burning is banned except in designated areas for cooking and recreation. All right. So speaking of wildfires and a bit of haze, let's talk about weather. Today we are joined by Nicole Hernandez. You're filling in for Thomas Patrick today. And it, overall, beautiful weather, mild morning so far. Absolutely, Laura. I, I personally love summer. I love the heat. And this is incredible. It is just noon and it's already 81 degrees outside. It's been warming up very quickly throughout the day and we're definitely not done warming up. But across the region, here's what we're looking like. 80s almost everywhere. Sandpoint still in the mid 70s, but that sun is shining and it is warming us up and it's going to keep doing that throughout the rest of our day. We do have some hazy skies today. Just be on the lookout for that, but it's not going to stop us from warming up. We end up in the high 80s today here in Spokane, mid 80s out in the Coeur d'Alene area. Central Washington seeing 90 degree temperatures today. And like I said, that sun is shining. It is going to keep shining. We do have pretty clear skies right now besides the haze. Of course, you might see a little bit of cloud cover, wispy cloud cover move through. That might give you a little bit of a break, a relief from that sunshine, but it will move out very quickly. Uh, and then we do have a, a, the chance for a little bit of moisture over our mountain areas, but that is going to stick to our mountain areas. 
Today would have been Zana Kernodal's 21st birthday. She was one of the four University of Idaho students killed in an off-campus apartment last November. And her family is honoring her by inviting everyone to celebrate Zana Palooza. The family says you can celebrate by being silly, having fun, and getting out of your comfort zones. They say Zana loved to live life to the fullest and create memories. So the family is encouraging everyone to do the same. Also, a man is in police custody after an hours-long SWAT standoff in North Spokane. Police say a man was threatening people yesterday on East Broad Avenue, just a few blocks away from Northtown Mall. They say the man had a court order preventing him from being at a certain house on that block. The suspect barricaded himself inside that home when police arrived. Eventually, the SWAT team arrived and took the man into custody. Also today, a Spokane man is sitting in a California jail for attacking two people who are homeless in both Spokane and California. Spokane investigators say 30-year-old Charles Nutter stabbed a Spokane man. That was back in early June. A warrant was put out for his arrest, but then he left the state. He then resurfaced in California, where local law enforcement says he violently attacked a man while he was sleeping, leaving him in critical condition. Nutter is now facing extradition back to Spokane on charges of attempted murder. Also coming in new today, a California woman was sentenced to 10 years in prison for helping smuggle drugs into Canada through North Idaho. Her name, 39-year-old Dahlia Miller, was arrested in 2020 after Border Patrol agents found her near the Canadian border with hundreds of pounds of meth and cocaine. According to our news partners at the Coeur d'Alene Press, she did plead guilty to drug trafficking charges last December.